Hi there, my name is Sandy Esri and welcome back to my channel. So I am so grateful that you are still watching my vlogmas series. So this is number 15, 16, infinity, I don't know, we're somewhere up there. But I have made, I made a goal to myself that I would film for the entire, well, for uh, vlogmas this year and I'm so grateful that I've been able to do that. And so I'm super excited that you're here with me. So as you already know, my name is Sandy Esprit, and if you're still joining me, why don't you just click that subscribe button, click that like button, and comment below. Um, you know, if you just want to say hi, just you can just comment hi, <laughs> and I'll respond. I promise I will respond. Um, so today's video, I am going to be featuring some of my favorite uh, BIPOC, B-I-P-O-C, which stands for Black Indigenous People of Color product from Sephora. Um, we love to see diversity we love representation because representation matters okay and sometimes it's all about convenience we want to be able to shop our own at like at stores like we should be able to see ourselves when we walk into the store so again BIPOC owned products from Sephora I've been able to try on uh, buy a few try a few and I've come up with this little list right here so I'll just get into it starting with hair care <laughs> and so I am a huge hair care um, freak I love hair care I started off my journey actually uh, my YouTube social media journey with hair care because I really wanted to see my daughter being represented on this platform online as well as on TV and so since it wasn't happening on TV I decided to put myself out there online and Okay, so starting off my list, I'm going to use the, uh, not use, I'm going to show you one of my favorite hair care products from Briogeo, and that is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Hair Scalp. Um, what is it called? Oh, Charcoal Tea Tree Cooling Hydration Scalp Mask. Listen, I don't, I don't memorize titles, okay? I just know that I like a product and I'm gonna keep using it. I only need to know what it looks like. I am bad for remembering names and I hate it even more when the title is long. But aside from a very long title, it is actually a very good product. It is a hair, um, not a hair mask, it is a scalp mask for like, it's a hydration scalp mask. And I put it on my hair. I love the fact that it's in a squeeze bottle. I love the fact that the first the first ingredient is water. Um, it has a coconut oil, it has charcoal powder, it has aloe leaf juice, it has some tea tree oil, some biotin, all in there. And it is honestly one of the best uh, scalp masks that I have used. It is cooling on the hair. I love that Briogeo understands, understands um, black hair care and, and, and black hair care regimen. We focus so much on the hair and having a good hair mask and a good hair regimen that we forget the scalp, the skin from which the hair grows out of. And so um, for me, a woman, a black woman who has dandruff and whose scalp is very problematic and has even more so become problematic since giving birth, gotta love hormones. Um, <laughs> I love this mask. It it's so cooling. It smells so good, and it's so uh, the it's so refreshing. The mint you, you have this tingling sensation. The mint, the aromas, it all works together. It makes hair day so much more, more, so much more pleasant. So much more, more pleasant. That's not that doesn't make any sense. But this this makes it all worthwhile. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I so I recommend the Briogeo. Uh, Charcoal, a scalp revival, charcoal, and tea tree cooling hydration scalp mask. Definitely, definitely re recommend. I definitely recommend. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to finish this vlog before my baby wakes up. I really hope she doesn't interrupt anymore, but we're going to get through this. Um, next uh, was a product that I had never tried. A brand from a brand. Bleh, bleh. Next is a product from a brand that I have never tried before because I've always felt like they didn't really cater to me um, and that is Shiseido so they are owned by 
uh, they are a Japanese brand. I believe they are Japanese owned still, but I know that it is Japanese skincare. They focus on Japanese beauty and Japanese skincare. But being a black woman, I was like, I don't know. They don't seem to, they don't seem to, you know, give me anything. It, I wasn't attracted to it until I was gifted this Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. If you've seen some of my other vlogs, you know that I've spoken about this serum. It just smells so good. It's so lightweight. It is this gel-like texture. The pump makes it easy to deal with and it is easy to apply. It is quite runny, very water-like. I'm not flipping you guys the bird. I am so sorry. I was not flipping you the bird. I was just trying to rub it in. Um, very water like gel texture it smells amazing it smells so good and I love how easily it absorbs into the skin it honestly provides your skin a nice drink of water and how luxe is this packaging okay it is so cute like look it shines it reflects light it, it just it, it, it's just fancy. So yes, it's Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate 3. You apply it in the morning and in the evening after cleansing your face and it just really provides your skin with that moisture and hydration and it leaves your skin feelings all nice and supple and soft and all that other stuff, all that good stuff. So I definitely recommend this. This is def a must buy. And now we're gonna get into some makeup because I love makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I love makeup. Beauty, when it comes to beauty, um, there's <laughs> I, i'm so happy like one of my strengths and weaknesses is kind of like i'm stingy um so otherwise i would just be a makeup collector like straight up just makeup collector and this next brand is one that i have i, I just love i'm a fan of been a fan of um and i don't think that will ever stop okay and i have to throw that in there black owned female owned from riri the mind of riri came Fenty, Fenty Beauty, and Fenty Beauty has been a game changer ever since she, they came out with that 30 shade of skin shade tone range. It, it, it gave us diversity and representation and we showed up for it. So she came out with some more stuff and I, I, oh, I could go on and on about how much I love that brand. Um, I mean, I wasn't a big fan of the stick that she came out with, but when it came to the ease, that, that ease drop blurring skin tint, this is number 19 from Fenty Beauty. I love, love, love this thing. It is lightweight, but it gives coverage. It's um, it, <sighs> ease drop, ooh, ease drop, because it drops easily. All you gotta do is squeeze and drop. If it would drop, that'd be great. Um, squeeze and drop and look like, and it's it's like water. It just, so beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is a little darker because I bought this in the summer uh, when I still had like more melanin in my skin. But I love how easy, like you can use your hands, you can use your fingers, you can use your brush, you can use your sponge, you can use whatever to apply on the skin. There is not one that will make the application. I personally don't find one method that applies easier than the other. It just cooperates with your skin. It applies beautifully. It stays on. Um, and it just gives you that lightweight. It's your skin, but better. It really does just a, gives you a nice blur, a nice tint without giving you cakey, without giving you obvious, I'm putting on makeup. I use this, I started using the uh, skin tint when my skin actually was at its worst. So I had acne and I had like acne scarring and I was just starting to become like very regular in terms of routine. Every time I would put this on, whether it be for a shoot or for content or just to go outside, mind you, it was still during the pandemic, so we we're just starting to go outside. Um, I never felt like my face looked heavy. It never felt super ridiculous. In fact, like maybe it was a pregnancy, I don't know. But, well, no, I can't really blame the pregnancy because I had the acne scars and everything. But it just gave my face a nice veil, 
a, like legit a nice veil and I have no complaints this is by far the one of my favorite favorite foundations like I rave about it all the time that's how much I love it um and of course her lip stuff is insane the Fenty Beauty lip paint stunner and uncensored um this is my favorite shade of red I when when it when an event calls for red lipstick this is what I go for not even natural lipstick a lip paint this is amazing. I love the packaging. I love that they the, this. I don't know how many sizes I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This octagonal um, tube. You have the weird brush that surprisingly gets my whole lip uh, with precise, with precision, with accurate precision. Um, love the rose gold dome at the top i love the glass here it's just so cute um and then i also bought the fenty beauty cream these are lip glosses um that lip glosses with the big brush here again if you got big lips you got nothing to worry about precision love 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 and i also even have the little mademoiselles and these are matte lipsticks and these are just the minis like they were on sale last year so i got them <laughs> just because it was fenty and i have the shade uh was like Griselda, which is like a dark mauvey brown and i got the shade uh spanked which is more of a um mauve nude but yeah, that's that's how much I love Fenty and honestly this is the way um represent when we talk about representation in the beauty industry, this is the way it should be done. Like right off right out the gate, give us what we need because we'll come back. <laughs> we will buy more. <laughs> we the consumer will continue to buy more if if you give us what we need and when it comes to shade and when it comes to range and when it comes to options that that that's what we want that's what we need so fenty thank you riri you're amazing and uh that's how we set the standard for the for skincare beauty in the future like not just for now but like for the future as well so another icon in the makeup industry pat mcgrath if you don't know who she is hey let's I, I think she's like the queen of makeup, makeup artistry. She's one, she's up there. She's definitely an icon and is iconic as a female, but as a black woman and what she's been able to accomplish in the makeup world is insane and it's amazing. So of course I fell in love with the Pat McGrath, Pat, with the Pat McGrath labs. Um, those, those were actually mini, um, lip glosses okay for starters i went with mini because sister is on a budget so your sister's on a budget so i couldn't get the full um size <laughs> lip glosses but i did go with the mini and these shade seem like super intimidating at first okay i was like i don't know if i'm gonna like this but you know support um Let's just try it out because I know how she is as a makeup artist. So I knew that like she would she would bring it. And even though these shades look extremely intimidating and shiny, I actually like last year I posted a vlog on it. It will be linked before, below and you can see what how they look like, what they look like. But each of these three shades are so stunning and it comes off pigmented but as a slight tint with high power gloss and it feels so good on the lips it's super moisturizing it's not super like sticky and it's not offensive when you put it on the lip this is not something you're gonna wear um to you know create like a costume look this is every day you could wear this on the every day or a night out it's just really 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 nice and i was so happy um when i purchased it that I was so happy that I loved it. Like, you know, sometimes you buy something and it's like, oh, I really wanted to support it. I really wanted to love it, but meh, not at all. Not with the Pat McGrath Labs. 
cosmetics she did her thing she brought it and i was so happy and proud of her at the same time i don't even know her she doesn't know me but i was like so proud that yes you catered to me this is what i love to see in lip gloss so huge fan um if you want to collab by all means reach out to your girl because yeah <laughs> i'm here for it <laughs> okay and last but not least last but not least is the Liz. This is the from Liz Beauty. Um, I bought it from Sephora. Uh, I was on the app looking for a bronzer and I could not find any in my range, in my shade, in my range. Um, I could not find any in my shade and I wasn't really comfortable purchasing something that like looked, like on the picture, looked like my skin. I have a bronzer already that I got as a mini sampler from um, another brand and like legit it wasn't it barely made a dent it barely made a speckle of an appearance on my skin and i was really annoyed because i'm like if you're gonna give out some samples for people to try so they can purchase it make sure that like it actually um fits the bill for people like me who aren't you know aren't light <laughs> for lack of a better word for people who are melanated and have melanin skin uh i i should be able to send if you're gonna send out a sample that i you know but anyways hopefully that's something that they fix in the future so while i was shopping looking for a bronzer because i ran out i stumbled upon the lees beauty or lys i hope it's pronounced lees i hope i'm not butchering her name but the triangle pink I was like okay and then came the shades and i was so excited they are black owned so i knew they would bring it with the shade range and this color here is the called strength and i love this it says dark in quotations it's like i was just like oh okay thank you for letting me know that this should show up and look at this color look at and it comes with a triangle like there is a mirror. I can look at myself as I am applying the bronzer. Um, I love that it says, I love the name of what it says. No limits matte bronzer. There ain't no limit to what I can do. This is what it's giving me. <laughs> Don't put limits on my shade, okay? Um, it's called strength and it comes on strong. Listen, this bad boy is pigmented. You have to use a light hand. You cannot go in with a heavy hand. You literally like you you. It's gonna give you warmth. It's gonna give you strength. It's gonna give you. It, it's come. It's packing strength with this shade, okay, and without limits, okay, unapologetic, without completely limitless. This is a matte bronzer. There is no sheen, and it blends so pretty it's so nice and the powder is so fine and it just gives you i'm actually wearing it right now like on my forehead that's why i like trying to motion with my fingers but you can't even this is you you can't even tell that there's no streak that's what i mean i was gonna say you can't tell that it's there but it's there you can tell that it's there but it just goes in so nicely and a little bit I don't need a lot, just a little bit. Like this here, that that's that's the bronzer. Like this here, super, super easy to use. And I love that. I love being able to use a product that doesn't give me grief, that is easily, that blends easily, and that just does what I need it to do, stays put where I need to stay put, and doesn't cause drama, right? So... That's pretty much it. That's my list for today. My favorite Sephora, well, my favorite BIPOC owned products that you can find at Sephora um, these days. That's what I've been using this year and I love them all to death. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be spending a whole lot more money on these brands. So if you liked this video, by all means, click like, subscribe. Make sure you click that like button, subscribe, comment below your favorite BIPOC owned product that can be found at Sephora or just your favorite product period. Um, I'm, I'm game. We don't discriminate, you know, just because Sephora, not Sephora, who cares? <laughs> if it works, it works. Let me know what you're using um, and if I should try it. If Is it worth trying? Is it worth buying? Let me know. Comment down below and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.